and welcome to Amo English. In today's video, I will teach you how to create clip art images in PowerPoint using the edit points function. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. There are also some useful links in the description below that you can check out. Please watch the video till the end as I will share some helpful tips on how to create your own teaching resources. If you want to start with insert, PowerPoint has lots of different shapes you can use. And the one that we are going to use is the star shape star. Okay, so you can click and then drag to form your star. And uh, you can reshape it, like make it different, a different size until you are happy. I think this is going to work for me. Now you will see that a drawing tool a drawing tool toolbar just appeared. So that's really great to format your shape. And you're gonna click on edit shape and edit points. And now you will see you have edit points. These are your edit points when you click on them. Two lines with two white squares will appear and you can manipulate the angles. You can also change the shape into a completely different shape, but I think that's a little bit more advanced and this is really for beginners. So um, I will do a video on that a little bit later. This is just to get you started. Now, usually a starfish has rounder edges. So I'm just going to change my edges so that it, they are rounder. Okay, so you can play around with this and Create it the way you want it. So it looks exactly the way you want it to look. Okay, I'm just going to also, um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Like, because for my activity, I need a very big, like, space here in the middle. So I'm just going to move these a little bit. Okay. Just make sure that they're sort of, otherwise your starfish can look a little bit lopsided. So just like make sure that they are where they are supposed to be. Okay. And if you feel like you are happy. Okay. Okay, if you feel like you're finished and you're happy, then you can just click outside the shape. And there you have your shape. Now, if it didn't appear already, or if you don't have it, I'm going to close it. You can right click and click on format shape. Now you will have more functions. We're first going to look at the full. That's going to be the little paint bucket they have there. And we're going to change it to gradient full. Now, because I already created something before, I'm just going to show you what settings I chose. So I went on radial and I selected from center so that I have a light center and I have darker. So it's going to move to a darker color. I'm going to change the colors here. So if I click here on this um, gradient stop, then I can change the color. And I'm going to look at standard. I think I'm going to make this one purple. I love purple. If you haven't noticed that about me. Um, and then um, I'm going to change it again. The next stop to a different color purple. Oh, that one's maybe a little bit too pink. Yeah, that's nice. So we just want it to be clearly purple. And uh, oh. If there you add stops, but you can just take it out. So sorry, I was supposed to click on that. Okay, and I think I'm going to select this color and then I'm going to just show you something else you can do. You can custom make a custom the color so you can make it lighter. So that's what I'm going to do for the center. Okay, I'm quite happy. Now you can adjust it. And here I'm going to look at outline. I'm going to remove the outline. 
So once you're satisfied with that, I like to add a little bit more. And this is a, here you will find the 3D format. So you can make the shape so it looks more like it's 3D. So I'm gonna increase, when I increase the width, it's gonna automatically increase the height as well. Okay, and I'm gonna increase it here as well at the top and the bottom, a little bit more, I think. Okay, this just gives you extra shading automatically, so you don't need to do that. Um, just be careful here in the corners, it might start to make a deep line, so just don't overdo it. Okay, so now that I have this shape, I want to insert the circular pattern that I have on my starfish. So now I created a circular shape. I want it to be the same size. So I'm going to change the height. So it's both four. I'm going to move it so that it's in the center. Okay, now if I want to center it in my shape, I can select the shape and then the circle and I can say align to the center, align middle. Okay, so it is in the middle. Now I also want to change the colors. And now you need to go and think if you want to go with complementary colors because yellow would be a complementary color for purple. So you want it to pop maybe then you're just going to change the colors. So again, this is really up to you. What do you like? What's your style? What's your taste? And you can just go with that, I think. Okay, I'm gonna make it a bit orange so it's not that bright. Now you can click on the stop here and then you'll see you have transparency and brightness. So I'm going to change the transparency and I'm going to change the transparency of the second one as well. So it doesn't look um, that unnatural. Then the other thing I want to do is I want to remove the outline. Okay, I like that. It looks nice to me. So I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to place it here and I'm going to make it smaller. I want a nice square so there are probably shortcuts you can use for this. I don't really know what the shortcuts are but anyway this is the way I do it and I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm going to make this not that like drastically smaller, but a little bit smaller. Okay. And don't worry, I'm going to make them look nice now. And then I'm going to change this one. Let's say two and two. Now, now I want to place them where I want them. But first, let's just select them all because it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to select them. I'm going to group them. Grouping images in PowerPoint or grouping shapes in PowerPoint is incredibly handy and nifty to be able to do. Now, if I click inside the group shape, you'll see I can still select the shape. Okay, but now I want to space them horizontally. Okay. This one I am going to maybe have to ungroup. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to group that one. So I'm going to group these together and then um, this one I'm just going to center again but first you have to select the star and then you can center it. Center and in the middle. Okay I'm going to move this 
and I see maybe I need another one. So I'm going to duplicate. Now it's in the group shape. So if you want it to be outside, you have to copy and paste. So I know this is a lot of information, but I think if you pause and you watch it again and you do it slowly, I'm doing it a little bit fast because I'm sort of used to doing it. Then you will be able to do this yourself. Okay, now that looks nice. Now I'm just going to zoom out again. So I like this. Maybe I'm going to move it a little bit there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so I can just control D, duplicate this. Um, just make sure you select the group image. Fantastic. And then I'm going to do it again. Just select the correct one. I'm going to go all the way around. So now I actually think I want to change that one a little bit. Okay. And then you are almost finished. Don't worry. Whoopsie. Okay. Boom, done, not quite. Okay, now we're done, I think. Just gonna move it a little bit to the side. Oh no, it's not, oh. I think this one's bothering me now. <laughs> okay, good, I think this looks good. Um, Okay, good. Now you have all of this, it's really nice. But now you're wondering, how am I going to easily change the colors? Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. You can duplicate this slide. You are not going to select them all together. So now you know you can just easily change this color. Let's say we want to make this one green. This is going to be our green starfish. And I'm going to select a lighter color for the center, maybe. Ooh. Let's see how that looks. Whoops. Oh, sorry. I was just confused, actually. OK. Um, this one we want to change to the light color. Okay. Um, and now you also want to change uh, the color of the dots. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you want to make it more orange. What would be the complementary color? Oh, red of green. So maybe uh, let's play around with orangey reds. Okay, and like that. Okay, and then the center we can maybe make yellow. I'm not sure if I like this. I actually like the color it was. Maybe I'm going to make it lighter colors. I'm going to make this a very light color. Okay. The other colors look nice as well. So if you want to keep it like that, you can. I just want to show you how you can change it easily. So that's the only reason why I'm showing you this. So you can go to Format Painter, you can click on it. And then when you click on your grouped image, beautiful, look there, but it's not going to 
format paint you have to have an individual image for the format painter to work okay so you're going to have to go back to the center and then you can change the colors i don't know maybe you like this maybe if you don't you want to go back to the original it's also very easy to go back to the original you just undo 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 ah there now if you want to select all of this because you need to select it all to save it as an image you can click Control a and you're going to group it all together now, when you group something, it's an it's sort of like an image, but it's still an image that you can edit. So just remember, now you have to click outside on the entire grouped image. You right click and you say save as picture. And on my desktop, I made a little file for it. So I'm going to select it there. I'm going to say green star fish. And it's going to show that it's going to save as an image. Now I want to give you some useful tips as to how you can use this image to create teaching resources. So we have our drawing. We know this is a drawing because it says drawing tool at the top. If you want to save this as an image in PowerPoint, you can click on Control C to copy and paste. Now you can see it is a picture. Now with pictures, you can do different things. You can crop the picture, etc. that you can't do with a drawing. But we wanna keep the drawing because we want to change this picture into a different activity. Like for instance, this trace activity or this connect the dots activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to select my drawing. I'm going to change the fill and add an outline. Now this would be ideal for a coloring in sheet that your students can color in. But if you want to make the line, the outside, the border, a dotted line, we first need to click and format shape because we have to remove the 3D effect. Now I can't exactly do this now because it's a grouped image. So I have to ungroup it first and then select only the star. And now I can remove this 3D effect that I added completely. And then you can just say zero. So there are many ways you can do it and zero. Okay. Now I can take this, select it again, and then select a dotted line. If I want it to be bigger, I have to make the line wider. And there you have a dotted line activity that you can do. For this activity, what I did was I inserted an, an shape, a circle, very small one. Let's make it one. And I changed the fill to black and then I remove the outline. I'm going to make this bigger now. So zoom in a bit. I'm going to put this on this line and I'm going to insert text box and write letter A in it. I'm going to place this next to my dot, not too close. I'm going to group this. And maybe I'm going to move it to the start. Now, very easily, you can duplicate this. 
and place it on different places on your outline. And once you've finished, you can delete the outline. And then you will have your dots that your students can connect. I hope this helps and please subscribe and like the video. Thank you.